Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. If you've never tuned into us before, I have a used car dealership and we basically talk a lot about what goes on here at the dealership. I also have some project cars. I've got Project Grandma, Project Bubbles, my old Chrysler Cordoba as you've seen in the intro. But today we're going to talk a little bit about how we look after our customers when we're really not obligated to. So stay tuned. So there are three vehicles on our lot or on the premises here right now that are vehicles we took back from our customers because they had issues with them. And I'm gonna tell you the story behind each one. It's not gonna be a long video, but it could be. I always say that and it ends up being 10, 12, 13 minutes long. Anyways, starting with the 2010 Mazda Tribute behind me. You guys all know the story on that. If you're new to the channel, uh, customer, we sold the vehicle to the customer. They ended up having some issues with it. We come to find out, long story short, it had burnt pistons. So we took it on trade from the customer, uh, gave him almost as much for it as we could to try and make sure that we could salvage the deal. He's driving a 2016 Elantra now. We've got the car back, it's all fixed, it's ready to roll. Normally, any other car dealer knowing there's an issue with a car would not take a car back, and we did because, well, we wanted to salvage that relationship with the customer, and he is back with us, and he's happy. Uh, we look after these guys. We try and make sure that we can build the relationship and keep them coming back. You guys have probably seen this GMC Canyon sitting on our lot or sitting back here for quite a while. Well, the customer had it in for repairs several times. They bought this back in the spring, and yes, we did sell it as is. But when they were experiencing enough problems with it that they were so unhappy with it that they just wanted to leave it here until whatever, I could sense that the customer was very unhappy, not so much with me, but just with the vehicle, understanding that you know we can't control everything that happens to them. We do our best and we try and sell them and make sure that they're going out of here problem free. Well, this one had a few more issues than anticipated. We are going to get them fixed up, but at the end of the day, I offered to take it back, got them into a newer, more reliable vehicle. When we sell a vehicle as is, we don't have to do anything. When there is an issue, we could just say, I'm sorry, you bought it as is, there's the door. We don't. We try and look after the customer when it comes to uh, doing any repairs. Uh, if we have to, we will discount the labor rate. Uh, we'll discount the parts a little bit. We'll also try and do our very best to accommodate them in a timely fashion. In this particular case, uh, the uh, family had uh, a tragedy and uh, it was something that they weren't used to dealing with, uh, having to deal with the problems with this truck. And well, they've been good customers. They've, brought, they've bought several vehicles from us in the past. So again, we're going to look after them. We didn't have to, but we did. And so anyways, the customer now is driving the 2012 Chrysler 200, the silver one that we had here in the lot a little while ago. And uh, they're much happier with that now uh, as they can drive it trouble free. It's not giving them little issues that this one. Now this is a 2009 and it has over 200 and 20,000 kilometers. It was just giving some issues that, uh, which we think is the fuel pump and we will be replacing that and uh, hopefully that will fix the issues that they were having. And at the end of the day, they too are happy. Another vehicle that had been sitting on the lot and you've probably seen it in other videos is the 2002 Honda CRV. Way back in the spring, I had posted a video that we had sold it and I said I wasn't taking a dime less than what we were asking for it, simply because although it had high mileage, it was in really, really good condition. Again, we sold that vehicle as is because it had over 300,000 kilometers, but at the end of the day, the customer didn't have it two and a half weeks, and we feel what felt like the head gasket go bad. So, again, we didn't have to do anything for that customer, but we offered to give them exactly what they paid for it. They were so happy that we were willing to do that for them that they basically just traded it in on another vehicle, the 2010 
uh, what was it, a Jeep Patriot, I believe, and uh, they paid a little bit extra money, the difference, and they're driving again, something newer, a 2010 versus a 2002. At the end of the day, they're happy with what they have, and you know, we looked after them. I keep saying this, we didn't have to do anything, but we did. So right now, we've got that CRV in the shop doing the head gasket on it. Let's go in and see what Tim is up to. Back in the comments section when I posted that original video, I got some flack from one guy who said it basically wasn't worth five cents and that all we were doing was ripping the customer off by taking his money. Well, guess what? He was half right. We sold an older vehicle, it ended up having an issue, but guess what? We looked after it, guys. We're not gonna leave people hanging high and dry when it comes to uh, our reputation. We wanna do what's right, what's fair, it doesn't always have to be by the book. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about who we really are and what we're really willing to do for our customers because at the end of the day, they are what keeps us in business. So we did pick up this 2013 Hyundai Elantra Coupe. Uh, it's only got 130,000 kilometers on it, really good shape. Nice red, retail red. Junior's getting it all cleaned up for the lot for the weekend. And it is the identical match to the 2013 Hyundai Elantra Coupe we've got sitting up front, except for it's an automatic. And as we all know, automatics appeal to a much broader range of customers, especially with the younger generation. And on that note, guys, we are back here at the house. It is Sunday evening and I'm getting ready to end out this video so that I can go inside and get it edited. We just finished up a live stream here and uh, I told you guys all about some of the plans that's gonna be happening with the old Mopar, and there is a dyno test day coming up on Saturday. So I'm gonna be there, I'll have my cameras, and we'll make sure that we get everything there for you guys. Thursday evening's live stream is gonna be on my channel, not on Straight Six Fans, but it's gonna be just me. We planned out this date, we set it up, and something at the last minute came up with Grant that he cannot make it, so, I am looking for a guest host. I may be reaching out to you, so if you see me knock on your door, please come running. We're gonna get season 2.1 started off on the right foot. We're gonna get things started at seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern, nine local time, and we're gonna talk a lot about car stuff, about some upcoming episodes, and the future of both Old Car Auto Guy and Straight Six Fan. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.